y'all call it the Meg the Stallion Challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not gonna hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. Yep. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass for what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? See, that's what black women are doing, Corinne. They want to disrespect themselves. They want to disrespect their men. They want to disrespect the community. But then they want respect from everybody else. And then you're mad when you don't get it. We live in a time and an age where women would rather be a thumb than a housewife. They would rather throw it back than get them dollars a legitimate way. You want to know why you've never been on a date? You've never had good quality men? Look at what you're doing. Look at how you present yourself. Look at the image that you portray on the internet. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all ass from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Stop it. Get some help. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. <laughs> Women. So many, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think? Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like? Y'all don't care about y'all image to them? Y'all talking about a challenge? Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? Got him. We fucking got him. I'm not saying you gotta be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Man used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this. To fantasize about stuff like this. To desire women to move in certain ways like this. But now all they gotta do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they gotta do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking their ass, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Because who y'all doing it for? Oh, we ain't doing this for the man. Who you doing it for then? The women are no longer being exploited. Women nowadays, they look for reasons to take it all off. But then they say it's body positivity. Then they say, don't judge me. They don't care about their future, their living. See, you can tell. If a woman had a father or not, by how she conducts herself online and how she conducts herself in the presence of a man. You want to know? Look at social media. Most of these women that are taking it off never had a father. They never saw what a real man was. So they feel that using their bodies is the only way to get male attention. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's not the only way to get male 
attention. This is the reason why other groups of women laugh at black women. This is why other groups of women respect men, honor men, love men, care for men, treat men equally and with, and with respect. And in order to respect men, you have to respect yourself. Men don't want to date a woman that lets it all hang out online. You want to get with a high value man, a man with money, a man with means, a man that can take care of you, that can take care of you. They don't want you. They don't want a thought. They don't want a 304. You cannot be a 304 by day and be a housewife by night. It doesn't work like that. You don't care about family. You don't care about your own legacy. That's the reason why women of other cultures are winning over black women because a woman of another culture is not gonna disrespect her family, her, her legacy, her father by letting it all hang out online. Because black women are the face and part of the face of the black community. So if you go out and you degenerate and you disrespect your own self and your community, how do you think other groups of people are going to look at you? That's why when you go overseas and you try to date other men, they look at you crazy and ask if you twerk. And don't say you're not doing it for men because we all know the truth. You are doing it for men. You're doing it for validation. You're doing it because you've never had a father growing up. You're doing it because you need to heal and you need to understand that your body is not gonna get you a good quality man. And it'll be these same women that say, I don't care about getting a man. Black women, you need to learn class. You need to learn how to be a woman. You need to learn how to be a classy, sophisticated woman stop portraying and stop engaging in degenerate and disrespectful behavior and then asking your own group of men black men to respect you see that's what black women are doing correct they want to disrespect themselves they want to disrespect their men they want to disrespect the community but then they want respect from everybody else. And then you're mad when you don't get it. You don't get respect because you don't give respect. Respect is earned, not given. But then you cry when you're lonely, you're single, you have three kids, two baby dads, and then you want to cry. But if you respected yourself, you respected a man, you healed from your trauma, and you stopped using your body to get male attention because that's exactly what you're doing, and you're using lies like body positivity to cover up for the fact that you just want to be a thought. We need more black women to call out the BS, and I'm noticing there has been a lot more black women women on my comment section on youtube that are starting to call out the bs kudos to y'all respect yourself black woman and then you will get the respect you deserve anyway y'all that's been it for today's video don't forget hit that like button subscribe to the channel tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content you're going to see me on the next clip right after this. And until the next video, peace.